Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today on ADHD Whiskey, we are reviewing a brand new, or what some people would consider to be at least relatively new, bottle from Brown Foreman. This bottle is a 100 proof. And if it's not a pooper, it's a friggin' Cooper. Cooper's Craft 100. It's Barrel Reserve. It's from Louisville and it's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So you know it's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Brown Foreman sold Early Times Bottle and Bond to Sazerac. And Sazerac was like, we'll take that. And then Brown Foreman was like, in your face, sons of sisters, mothers, bitches. This is Cooper's Craft 100. And we hope it's as good as early times. This comes in a barrel shaped bottle with a little bit of a PP on top. It's a grower, not a shower, they say. America. Cooper's Craft. <laughs> Pretty good. Now let's do our due diligence, which is our research, which is just reading the bottle, actually. Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve. BF Cooperage, established 1945. Louisville, Kentucky, USA. It's got a little sticker on the top right there. It's got a little bit of a sticker on top. Barrels manufactured at 402 McLean Avenue. BF Cooperage, Louisville, Kentucky, 1945 established. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve takes its very distinctive flavor from barrels that have post-char chiseled interiors. This deepens the whiskey's wood exposure, creating a robust taste profile. <gasps> so they're doing something to the barrels post-char. They char them sums of bitches and then they beat the shit out of them from the inside. They chisel them down and whizzle them down. Distilled at DSP KY 354, raised in Kentucky, 100 proof. Collection, chiseled and charred. 50% alcohol by volume, 100 proof, brown form and cooperage. I look at this as like the next generation of early times bottled and bond. It's not bottled and bond, but it's 100 proof brown form and product. And I feel like this maybe starts where early times left off. I don't know, that's just kind of what my thought process is. Even though my thought processes suck and usually end up with why dogs smell other dogs' butts. That's my thought process. Cooper's Craft. Our chiseled barrels have been handcrafted by our master Cooper to deliver a bold and complex Kentucky bourbon that is bottled at 100 proof. Tour our historic cooperage and meet the barrel makers. Schedule a visit. Book reservations at cooperscraft.com. Lovely label, looks great on the shelf. Shelf appeal, very high on this. It's a nice looking bottle and it's between 30 and 40 bucks depending on where you find it. First we swirl it and twirl it and wonder why we poured ourselves so much Cooper's Craft. That Cooper's Craft is like an ocean of brown liquid. It's like an ocean. People could surf in there if they were small people. And stop. Ooh, deceleration, maybe a little bit more rapid than usual. And the nose is, what the heck is that? Whew, bananas. That is a runt banana. That's candy banana, banana extract flavoring. Whoa. That's like if you made a banana bread and put banana runts into it. It's like artificial banana, banana bread. This nose is weird. Artificial banana and lemon. Definite citrus, a load of citrus, like a lemon lime, maybe less lime than lemon, way more lemon than lime. This is one of the this is one of the more bizarre noses I've smelled on a standard bourbon. A little bit of black licorice actually. A grape leaf. If you've if you've ever smelled a grape leaf before. A little bit of grape leaf on there. A tinge of mint. A little tinge of mint. Maybe like spearmint a little bit. Weird super enjoyable though. The nose is wonderful. The uniqueness on the nose alone is probably worth buying without even tasting it. Interesting. Have you ever snuggled with somebody who smelled so nice 
but also like a smell you've never smelled before. And you're like, what are you wearing? And they're like, that's just my natural scent. And you're like, where, what? This smells like Victoria's Secret and Willy Wonka got it on. Dirty style, down the hatch. That's pretty good. Ethanol mid palate. There's a lot of ethanol happening here. Maybe it was the size of my sip. Maybe my next sip will make it a smaller sip. But the first sip was pretty bakery, like pretty crusty, like a pie crust and sweet and then ethanol. The finish is still lingering a little bit. It's like a pie crust linger in the, in the, in the, in the back of the old throat ski. Huh. It's like a non-nut banana bread. So if you like banana breads with zero nuts in it, that's kind of what's coming through here. Bit of a banana bread, almost like a banana toast. A little bit of butter, but a little bit of bitter also. The bitterness on the back end is slightly off-putting, but not bad at all. This is a very, very nice pour that I'm enjoying quite a bit here. The mouthfeel, the oiliness, the viscosity, is mid-range. It's not very thin, but it's also not very thick. It's not super viscous. It's there and then kind of like dances around a little bit like and then it's gone. It's interesting. The nose on this is probably the highlight of the pour, I would say. If you like citrusy bourbon, this is the one, for show. The palate is pretty light. It leaves something to be desired. There's not a lot of prominent notes jumping out on the palate. It's kind of like an even sweetness from the tip of the palate all the way back. A very sweet sweetness, almost an artificial sweetness. An artificial bourbon flavored sweetness from the tip of the tongue all the way back with a little bit of bitter on the finish, but overall very nice, very good. I like it. I would say this is a very nice sipper, definitely worth the price between 30 and 40 bucks. I'd say it's a buy, especially if you love the citrus, a citrus nose on a whiskey and a sweet whiskey. Cooper's Craft 100 is nice. The bottle is nice, the pour is nice, Experience is nice. Shelf appeal, you put it up on a shelf, it looks really nice. It's a good looking bottle and it's a very good product. Cooper's Craft 100 receives a score of Cooper's Craft 100 receives a score of 7.1. It's a 7.1. If the palette was as complex and as interesting as the nose, it would increase it would increase its score, but it's just not. The palate is sweet, it's kind of one note, but it's very enjoyable, it's very good. It's something that I would definitely pick up if I saw it in a store, but it's not something I would hunt or chase after. It's a 7.1, it's a very good bourbon, it's definitely worth a buy, it's worth a look into, it's worth a taste, it's worth a try. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on charring and chiseling barrels after they're charred and chiseled. I feel like when I was in the best shape of my life, my wrestling name could have been charred and chiseled because I was burnt out and so tired of losing all the weight. But I was chiseled like a friggin' face of a mountain cliff, just jacked and tan and sexy and just a sex machine. But sometimes those chiseled, charred rocks crumble and turn into a pile of muddy debris on the hillside, which is kind of what I feel like now. Hit the like button. If you watched the video this far, you should probably hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Have you tried Cooper's Craft 100 before? What do you think? And if you've watched it this far and haven't hit the subscribe button, then I don't like you anymore. I love you because I know that you'll do it right now. Hit subscribe. Wink. K.
kiss, slap on the ass.